you've seen it all, you find something that is even more incredible. I thought this was the brown funnel polypore, and I saw it at the base of this tree, and I started noticing there's so many of them, like leading almost a trail all the way down. But then when I got down to here, some here's a close-up of some of them. They're kind of dried out and really firm. They have like crinkles in them with a white rim around the outside. I'll pull one out. Smooth under surface there. Um, and then I got down to this one. And what's really cool about this is I see the little red dots. And I think it's a bleeding tooth fungus. You can see my my finger is stained red. It looks like blood. It is the coolest thing. Look at this one. It almost looks like there's a bunch of jelly oozing out of it, but it looks like blood. And it's a really thin liquid. So amazing. It has a bunch of different names from like red tooth fungus to bleeding tooth fungus. But I believe this is all the same as these ones that are aged a little more up here. And when I came up to the top, I saw this one growing at the base of the tree. I see this one also has a couple little of the juice coming out of it. It's so crazy. It's a cool mushroom like you rub and it turns brown. Like the sides, when I rub them they turn brown. And I see that one's got some, some juice coming out of the side too. And when you, when you rub it, it turns dark brown with like all the that is the most fascinating mushroom. There's this one. See the little drip of red on the side? That one's got a whole bunch of juice squirting out of it. Crazy, crazy mushroom. Absolutely crazy. Brought back my bleeding tooth fungus, or also known as devil's tooth. This honestly might be the coolest mushroom I've ever found. And I carefully brought it back because I wanted to preserve it. But now you can see that all the little spots that were oozing you know kind of the red juice have dried up but um and then as they and that only happens when they're younger and then as they get older they kind of turn into a regular looking mushroom like this one over here didn't have any of the the red juice but I just wanted to cut it open curious what was inside oh and it's interesting you can see where it gets all the the red juice from it's all in here and it likes I noticed it stained my fingers but that is honestly one of the most fascinating mushrooms I guess it has teeth underneath I can't even see under here I don't feel them 